Hello everybody, this is me, Ethan here. Welcome back to another LEGO set review. Today we'll be reviewing LEGO Star Wars set 75247 Rebel A-Wing Starfighter, and it contains 62 pieces, and this is a 4 plus set. So let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigures. First up, we have the A-Wing pilot. This minifigure looks really, really cool. The first thing I notice is I especially love the very, very nice helmet mold. There's just a lot of colors going on, and it's just a very detailed mold. I don't believe it's dual molded, it's just all painted on, but it's a very nice helmet mold for such a a cheap set the face print looks pretty generic but it is a nice face print that we don't see too often i like the green suit and i like that it continues down to the middle of the torso um i don't really know what the definition is but he also comes with this very nice blaster piece which for some reason it confuses me that a normal blaster piece is in a four plus set yet battle packs get stud shooters i don't understand that but there is the A-Wing pilot. Next, we have the lovable droid himself, C-3PO. He's got, like, these signal signaling accessories to kind of signal down the Rebel A-Wing. But I personally don't like it with C-3PO. It just doesn't look right. It doesn't look like something C-3PO would do. But this minifigure is very detailed. I like the wires in the middle. And the leg printing is very nice. And the, and the headpiece is also a very nice mold that's been around for a while. And you can see the... Um, torso printing continue onto the back, but what still confuses me is that in 2019 we still don't have a C-3PO with side leg and arm printing. We got that poly bag like in 2015 with the Force Awakens, but I don't know why they haven't updated it. I feel it's really overdue since we've gotten so many C-3PO's over the years, but there is C-3PO. Taking a look at the A-Wing, it's a pretty simple design. It's built on this giant Junior's base. We've got these wind turbines or boosters or whatever you call it. The little wings we have the turrets or the guns on the side that are just connected by a clip but the best part of all about these junior sets or four plus however you want to say it is that they have printed pieces there are no stickers so you get a nice printed piece here 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 and then we take a look inside the cockpit and we have this one little controller piece which has been around for a while and inside you can simply fit the Rebel A-Wing, there's not a lot going on, but I like that it's kind of all sloped off. Being popped the Rebel A-Wing right in there, ready to go. And, I mean, it's good for kids. Like, it's super easy for younger kids. They can easily hold it in their hands and swoosh it around and stuff. But for collectors, it's not so much the right type of set for you. But, I mean, I just got it because it was cheap. And I think the Rebel A-Wing is a cute little build based off of one of the iconic original trilogy ships so there is the a-wing and now we will take a look at the filler of the set this is the little area where c-3po can stand there's a little rack with some utility things some things you can like fix up a ship on i also like the caution tape on there and i really like this giant uh slope tan brick i don't know the dimensions of it but it is a very cool piece so there is the filler there you guys have it there's my review of lego star wars 4 plus set 75247 rebel a-wing starfighter if you did enjoy this review please like comment and subscribe and as always i'll see you in the next one bye and have a great day